Welcome to the second lesson from my Introduction to MATLAB series. In this lesson, we will be taking a closer look at naming variables in MATLAB. And as you can see, this section is only two tasks long, so it should be a fairly quick one. So as you can see in our command window, we have a variable lowercase a equals eight. And in this first task, we want to create a variable named capital A with the value negative two. And so just before starting this task, one thing to note is that you can name your MATLAB variables anything you'd like, as long as they start with a letter and contain only letters, numbers, and underscores. So completing this first task, we will type capital A equals negative two. And then of course we will hit enter and so, of course, we see that we created a new variable, capital A equals minus two. So that completes task one. And now MATLAB variables are case sensitive. So even though it's the same letter, since it's capital A, this variable is going to be different than lowercase a. So in this second task, you'll be able to see how these two variables are indeed different. And you will see this by calculating lowercase a plus capital A over two. And so in this task, we want to name this variable mean capital A lowercase a, just like so. And this is of course, going to be equal to, we'll put parentheses on the numerator of the fraction. So this is lowercase a plus capital A divided by two. And so as you can see, we get a result of three since of course, lowercase a is eight and then plus minus two. So that's basically eight minus two, which is six. Then divided by two is of course three. And now just for further practice, in case you use an invalid variable, MATLAB displays an error message and suggested correction, and you are pretty much free to either use the correction, modify it, or simply delete it by pressing escape. So for this step, let's go ahead and try 3SQ equals 9, and then we'll press enter. And of course, we see that we get the expected error message as well as a suggested correction. So first, the error is an invalid expression and it's telling us to check for a missing multiplication operator, missing or unbalanced delimiters or other syntax error. But here, the suggested correction is SQ equals nine. And so for instance, if we want to delete the suggestion, we would press escape just like so. And now why exactly is this expression incorrect? Well, if you notice the expression on the left starts with a number instead of a letter. And if you recall, we can only have variables that start with letters. They can contain numbers and underscores, but they need to start with a letter. So in this case, 3SQ is invalid. And so a more valid expression would maybe be SQ3 equals 9. So to fix this error, let's go ahead and type this as say SQ3 equals 9, then hit enter. And of course, we see that we no longer get an error message since we have moved the number three from the beginning of the variable name to the end.